Ever wondered how Bitcoin mining works? Today, you're in for a treat. Bitcoin, the first ever cryptocurrency, has revolutionized the way we think about money. It's a digital currency that operates independently of any central authority, and it's powered by a technology called blockchain. Now, you may ask where do these Bitcoins come from? The answer is mining. Bitcoin mining is the process by which new Bitcoins are entered into circulation. It's a crucial part of the Bitcoin network's security, ensuring that transactions are verified and added to the public ledger, known as the blockchain. Mining is also a competitive lottery that prevents any individual from easily adding new blocks consecutively to the blockchain. This way, no individuals can control what is included in the blockchain or replace parts of the blockchain to roll back their own spends. Intriguing, isn't it? Ready to dive into the world of Bitcoin mining? Buckle up! Before we plunge into the mining process, let's grasp what Bitcoin mining really is. Imagine being a digital gold miner, digging through layers of complex cryptographic puzzles. This, in essence, is what Bitcoin mining is all about. Much like gold miners sift through dirt to find gold, Bitcoin miners solve complex mathematical problems to mine new Bitcoins. However, instead of using shovels and pickaxes, Bitcoin miners use powerful computers to solve these puzzles. But Bitcoin mining is not just about creating new Bitcoins, it's a crucial part of the entire Bitcoin network. Think of Bitcoin miners as the guardians of the network. They validate and record all transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain, a public ledger that contains the entire transaction history of Bitcoin. When a Bitcoin transaction is made, it's the miners who confirm that the transaction is legitimate. They do this by solving a cryptographic puzzle that ties the new transaction to all previous ones. If the transaction is valid, it gets added to the blockchain. This process of validating transactions and adding them to the blockchain is called proof of work, and it's the backbone of Bitcoin's security. Interestingly, Bitcoin mining is also a competitive sport. The first miner to solve the cryptographic puzzle gets rewarded with newly minted Bitcoins and transaction fees. This competition keeps the network secure, as it would require immense computational power and financial resources to manipulate the system. Moreover, Bitcoin mining is designed to be difficult. The difficulty of the puzzles adjusts approximately every two weeks, depending on how fast they are being solved. This mechanism ensures that new Bitcoins are created at a steady rate, similar to how gold is gradually mined from the earth over time. However, as more Bitcoins are mined, the reward for solving these puzzles decreases, making it increasingly difficult to profit from Bitcoin mining. This is a deliberate design choice to control the supply of Bitcoins and prevent inflation. Now that we've made sense of what Bitcoin mining is, it's time to uncover how it's done. Mining Bitcoin isn't rocket science. Let's break it down step by step. We begin our journey in the world of Bitcoin mining with transaction verification. Now imagine a bustling marketplace where goods are traded. In our digital marketplace, Bitcoin transactions are like these goods. But who keeps track of these transactions? Enter Bitcoin miners. They serve as the market's auditors, verifying transactions to ensure everything is above board. Each transaction is bundled into a block. Think of this block as a ledger page recording a list of transactions. But not every block makes it to the blockchain immediately. First, miners must solve a complex mathematical problem. This is where the mining metaphor really comes into play. Picture yourself as a miner, armed with a pickaxe, chipping away at a rock face in search of precious gems. In the digital world, your pickaxe is your computer's processing power. The more powerful your computer, the faster you can chip away at the problem. This process is known as proof of work, and it's a race against time and other miners. But what is this mathematical problem? In essence, it's a cryptographic puzzle that's intentionally designed to be difficult and time-consuming to solve. It involves finding a number that, when hashed along with the block, produces a result that is within a certain range. This number is called the nonce. The difficulty of finding the nonce is what secures the network against fraud and manipulation. When a miner solves this problem, they broadcast their solution to the network. Other miners then verify this solution. If it's correct, the block is added to the blockchain. This process of adding a new block is called block confirmation. But what's in it for the miners? Well, as a reward for their hard work, the successful miner is awarded a certain number of bitcoins. This is known as the block reward. Currently, the block reward is six and a quarter bitcoins. However, this amount halves approximately every four years in an event known as halving. But don't get too excited just yet. The chances of an individual miner solving the mathematical problem and earning the block reward are quite slim. 
given the sheer number of miners competing. That's why miners often join mining pools, where they combine their computational power to increase their chances of earning rewards. So, there you have it. From verifying transactions, bundling them into blocks, solving complex mathematical problems, and finally adding blocks to the blockchain, we've journeyed through the process of Bitcoin mining. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? But what does it take to mine Bitcoin? Mining Bitcoin requires more than just a basic computer. Let's delve into what you really need. To start, you'll need specialized mining hardware, often referred to as mining rigs. These aren't your everyday computers. They're custom-built machines, specifically designed for solving complex mathematical problems that underpin the Bitcoin network. The most popular type of mining hardware is an ASIC miner, short for Application-Specific Integrated Circuit. These devices are incredibly powerful, but they can also be quite expensive. Beyond the hardware, a significant requirement for Bitcoin mining is electricity, lots of it. Mining rigs consume a substantial amount of power, which can lead to hefty electricity bills. In fact, the electricity usage for Bitcoin mining globally is more than some small countries. So before you dive in, it's crucial to consider the cost of power in your area. Locations with cheap electricity are typically more conducive to profitable Bitcoin mining. Next up, you'll need a stable, high-speed internet connection. Why? Because Bitcoin mining involves continuously downloading and uploading data. A slow or unreliable internet connection could cause your mining rig to miss out on valuable mining opportunities. Last but not least, let's talk about mining pools. A mining pool is a group of miners who combine their computational power to increase their chances of mining a block. By joining a pool, you get a share of the bitcoins mined by all members of the pool. Solo mining, or going it alone, can be a bit of a gamble. You could strike it big, but you could also end up with nothing. Mining pools offer a more predictable return on your investment. So to recap, if you're considering mining Bitcoin, you'll need the right hardware, affordable electricity, a reliable internet connection, and possibly a mining pool membership. It's a bit of a laundry list, and it doesn't even touch on the technical knowledge required to actually set up and run a mining rig. Equipped with the right tools, anyone can start mining Bitcoin. But is it worth it? The million-dollar question, is Bitcoin mining profitable? It's a query that has sparked countless debates and discussions. The truth is, the profitability of Bitcoin mining hinges on a cocktail of factors. Firstly, consider electricity costs. Mining consumes a significant amount of energy, so the cheaper your electricity, the more profitable your mining. Next, we have hardware costs. The price of the high-powered computers required for mining can be steep. It's a sizable initial investment, and the more efficient your hardware, the better your chances of turning a profit. Finally, the fluctuating price of Bitcoin. A higher Bitcoin price can make mining profitable, even with higher electricity and hardware costs. Conversely, a lower price might mean that mining costs more than the Bitcoin you earn. So whether or not Bitcoin mining is profitable depends on various factors. But one thing's for sure, it's an exciting adventure into the world of cryptocurrency. We've journeyed through the ins and outs of Bitcoin mining. Let's take a moment to recap. We started by introducing Bitcoin mining, a process that involves solving complex mathematical problems to validate transactions on the Bitcoin network, thereby earning new Bitcoins. We then delved into the step-by-step -step process of mining, which involves setting up a mining farm, running mining software, and joining a mining pool. Next, we discussed the necessary requirements for mining, including powerful hardware, stable internet connection, and access to a reliable electricity source. We also touched on the profitability of Bitcoin mining, which largely depends on several factors such as the cost of electricity, the price of Bitcoin, and the difficulty of mining. Bitcoin mining is a complex yet fascinating aspect of the cryptocurrency world, and who knows, maybe your mining adventure is just about to begin.